Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen up your short game. This is no, not so much a video on exactly how to play each shot. This is a video on you've got the skill, you just need to sharpen it up and tidy it up and just you know, take a few couple of rough edges off it. And this is one of the best ways I know how to sharpen your short game. So basically we've started with a, all of, I've got a few balls down here in the one position. The flag stick's over there. So the flag stick's probably about 20 odd paces away. It's probably five paces to the edge of the green. So we're gonna start with playing one short game shot. So the first shot I'm going to play here is a 60 degree lob wedge. And I'm going to try and get this as close as I can. And the object of this little practice session that we're doing is we're trying to get them all as close as we can. But the rule is we can't play the same shot twice. So we'll start with this one. So I've given that a little bit of elevation, didn't run out that much, probably not happy with that shot, but it's a shot. I would then hit another shot. Now the rule of this game is we can't play the same shot twice. So I now have to hit a different club. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use my gap wedge. So I'm gonna skip a club. And we go down from the lob wedge, miss the sand wedge, go to the gap wedge. So now my landing area has to change and I still have to try and get it close. And the object is at the end of this, we're gonna give ourselves a, a bit of a mark out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots and we'll see how we go. Now we can do that in various ways, but we'll more of that later. I'm now gonna play little gap wedge. So I've got a picture of my landing area And that's a much better shot. That's rolled up to about uh, oh, a foot away from the hole. So different landing area. I kept it lower and it ran. Now I have to play a different shot again. So this time I'm going to skip the pitching wedge and I'm going to use a nine iron. So I've got to use a different landing spot but I've got to find a way to get it close. Landed just on the edge, just ran probably five feet past, nearly went in, but it's, it's about five foot past. Now I've got to choose a different club. So I'm gonna skip the eight iron and now I'm gonna go for a seven iron. So once again, still same shot, nothing's changed, but the club has changed. So I've gotta land this short of the green. Landed it short, it's run up. I didn't aim left enough. That's probably about 10 feet away, not a good shot. But I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna make it look, but make myself look better than I am. That was a poor shot. Now I'm gonna skip the six iron, we'll go to the five iron. Better aim this one a bit further left this time. So that's landed short, it is turning in. That was a much better shot. That's about the three foot range, pretty acceptable. Now I would normally, I would skip the four, go to the three, I don't carry a three iron. So what I now have to do is use my hybrid golf club. So same deal, just gotta make it work for me.
just started at a fraction right of where I wanted, but that's okay. That's probably in the four foot range from the hole. Pretty acceptable. And my last ball, I'm gonna use a driver. So I'm gonna skip my three wood, go to my driver. Hopefully it doesn't hit another ball. So not aiming far enough left, and that's probably about six feet away. So I've played seven different shots, seven different clubs, all to try and get it close, and that's not my best effort. But what I would probably do is think about how many of those balls I got inside a flag stick. So from here, it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, I've probably got five out of the seven balls inside the flag stick. So what I would do is I would get my mobile phone out, go to the notes function and say, put today's date, and I would give myself a score out of seven. Next time I do it, I would then try and improve on that. The other variation is I could now go and get a, a putter out and I could actually try and hole all of these putts. And I could give myself a score. So we could actually say that they're par twos, someone at my level. And so if I chip and putt, it's a par. If I knock it in, it's a birdie. If I chip and two putt, it's a bogey. Now, if you're a higher handicap, you might want to call them all par threes. So it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent with what you do. They're both good ways of doing it. But by practicing here, you're not playing the same shot over and over. I could certainly hit a few more shots with my lob wedge and I know I could get the ball closer and I'd get a feel for it. But the problem is when we get on a golf course, we get one chance and we have to do it right the first time, not the second, third, fourth or fifth. So this is what I like. Now I might also do the same thing from a different area of the green. But if we can just practice these different shots, making one ball count, and giving yourself a score, it really will sharpen your skills. And if there's a club that you think, gee, I really don't play that shot well, that's the cue that you need to go and practice that shot. So you might go into what we call block practice and you might hit a few in a row, just getting a feel and improving your technique. Once you think you've got that, go through and do all the tests again. So I think if you can work this way, it's actually good fun. You're using some imagination. You don't get stale because you've got, every shot is a fresh approach. And I think you're gonna get better. So give it a go. Let me know how you go with this type of practice. I'd love to hear from you. And there's been a few people lately uh, support me on Kofi. And uh, there's a link in the description if you want to do it. Some people have enjoyed my videos and they've found them helpful. So they've gone and purchased me a coffee. Someone even purchased me a beer recently. So if you want to do that, feel, feel free. There's no obligation. Uh, but I'll certainly enjoy a coffee or a beer. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.